I will say a few words about uh, our project, which is titled Searching with a Hint. I'm Spiros Angelopoulos, and this is a joint project uh, with Steve Alpern at Warwick Business School and Thomas Hitbetter at Rutgers Business School. So, uh, in a nutshell, our, our project uh, deals with uh, searching in an environment um, for an immobile hider using a mobile sensor. Now, typically, the current framework assumes uh, the current framework, which is known as online searching, assumes that uh, there is no information concerning the hider's position. However, in practice, we know that such information should be available. We should have some kind of external information or hint concerning the whereabouts of a, of a searcher. And so the question we would like to address is how to leverage hints in this uh, area. So let me illustrate with the, this with a simple example. We're given the infinite line and, and at the point uh, designated as the origin. And somewhere in this line, there's a hider hiding at, the, at a certain distance from the origin. Now, the searcher would like to locate the hider, and we can follow a search strategy which goes back and forth until eventually the hider is located. There's a performance, performance measure associated with this uh, search strategy, which is known as the competitive ratio. This is the worst case ratio of the distance traversed by the searcher divided by the distance of the hider from the origin. Now, we know that if there is no information, the best we can do is a competitive ratio equal to 9. However, in practice, we may have a hint. So one kind of hint could be, is the hider hiding to the left or to the right of the origin? And the tricky issue here is that the hint may be incorrect. For instance, if your hint is the direction and the hint is correct, this is great for you. You get a competitive ratio equal to 1. However, if the hint is incorrect, your competitive ratio is infinite. So now you can see that the performance now becomes uh, a point on a two-dimensional space. One dimension corresponds to the, to, the, to, the, to the case that the hint is correct, and the other to the case that the hint is incorrect. So what we would like to do is essentially identify Pareto optimal strategies. So this is what we have done so far in this project. Um, the first work here, here deals with uh, the setting I, I just described. And it will appear in the next Innovations in Theoretical Computer Science Conference. The paper is available on archive. The second work, uh, which is joined with Sain Kamali, uh, deals with uh, a scheduling problem in AI. And these two problems, um, at first glance, they may not be related. However, it turns, it turns out that they are very much related. So noisy predictions for this problem are very useful for setting as well. So eventually, we would like to combine these two in one publication. And there is a, a third recent work by Steve Alpern. So the problem he considers here is how to navigate in a network using a faulty GPS. So you want to go from point A to point B in a city. However, the GPS you have is faulty. So what can you do about that? I hope to be able to answer some questions uh, later on. And thank you for your attention.